Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today's just another one of those fun discussion videos um, because I've been watching some some other YouTubers talking about that that new Atari 2600 set that came out. Um, it's like a collector's edition redo of the Atari games that came out, the Atari 2600 games that came out like 40 years ago or whenever. And uh, it's just kind of like a repackaging they got some cool little plastic thing on the top that lights up. Some people like it. Some people hate it. Um, it's it's definitely something that was designed as a showpiece. Um, I really seriously doubt anybody that buys that buys these things are actually opening in the, them up and physically taking the cartridge out and playing it in their Atari. Because let's be real, and, and the Atari creep said this, most of that stuff, those games have been around for, you know, ever. They're commons. They're not like they're, you know, the rare games. It's not like Hero or... Uh, some of the other games that are harder to get your hands on. Um, it's just the original Atari games, like Adventure and, and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I was kind of like looking at it like, okay, th this was designed as a, a means of um, just creating a collector's piece that looks cool on your shelf. Like, you know, when you have a book or you have like any 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 stuff that you put on your shelf just to, to say it looks cool. But, I you know, I, I don't really have a whole lot to say about it myself. I mean... To, to sit there and make a whole video just based on that one product. Uh, but I was kind of looking at the angle of where are they trying to go with this? And um, if, you, if you think about all the other things that have come out in the past, is this a good thing or is this not a good thing? Because you got to look at the, the collector's point of view. You got to look at the pe person who, who's buying these things. Um, are they buying them because uh, they want to turn a profit? I think they're already starting to show up on eBay. Uh, of what I saw on someone's video, um, you know, someone's probably already trying to scalp them and um, You know, is this good? Is this is this what we want as as people who love this stuff who, who grew up with this stuff who who collect it for nostalgia reasons? Um, you know, it, it's kind of good and, and, and it's not in a sense because um, th these things are uh, existing already in, in the in the in the world of you know retro gaming but they're slowly starting to disappear. Um, in fact, I, w I watched a video of uh, the immortal John Hancock, and he was talking about that kind of very topic about, you know, investing in retro gaming and the, the, the idea that he went to the store and, and he's not seeing it as, mu as much as he used to. And in fact, I, I kind of agreed with him on that one. Um, I go into a lot of, you know, what, what are considered retro gaming stores now, uh, even places like GameStop, um, and you're lucky that the oldest thing they might have um, in a lot of cases would be NES, uh, Nintendo NES cartridges. You don't really, you know, at least where I am, I, I can't speak for everybody. Uh, you know, you might you might have a retro gaming store in your neighborhood that, that has everything. Um, you know, there's a flea market not too far away and, and they have some pretty old stuff. Uh, but, you know, I don't see it very often. I guess that's what he was trying to say. Um, that, you know, you don't see the original in television, ColecoVision, you know, uh, all the way, you know, Vectra, Vectrex, or, um, like, it's it's getting harder and harder and harder to find these things. But on the flip side to these, this, like, new Atari set that came out, I mean, these aren't new. I mean, they, they came out a little bit ago uh, where they were kind of repackaging, like, Yar's Revenge and, and you know, I mean, it was cool when they, they put out some games that were never actually officially released. But I'm talking about the ones that were already on the shelves. People already have copies of them in their collection. And now they're going and buying this brand new box that looks just like, you know, a, a, you know, it doesn't even look like the original. It's all redone. And um, so, like, first of all, where's the nostalgia on that? And second of all, what are you going to do with it? Are you just going to put it on your shelf? I would more like want these things to be accessible. Um, because from what I understand, it was a limited quantity of these things and they're already sold out. Um, so if you want to get your hands on one, you're going to have to spend a ton of money. Uh, they're about a hundred bucks each game, which is, is completely unreasonable for some of these games that have existed forever and we can play them on everything. I mean, most of these games can be played on this up, upside down. It can be played on that. Um, you know, any of the flashback units, all those games are pretty much available. Uh, they have been for a very long time. You can go on your emulator, uh, on your computer. You can download the ROMs. I mean, it's just, 
the games are easy, they're accessible, so I don't understand the point. Um, and, you know, we've had other things that have just con continuously come out, other products. Uh, you know, maybe think of things like this. This is the Defender um, game, you know, where we're keeping the titles alive by building these little these little playable things. Now, these things aren't really intended to be collectible items, obviously. Uh, you pretty much would go into Walmart and find these for like 20 bucks. Um, which, you know, it brings that level of nostalgia. If you grew up with Defender, you love the game, uh, you can have this little thing on your shelf and and actually still play it. And it's not, not you know, just, it's not just shelf candy. Um, but there's other things like that that are kind of keeping it alive. I was even thinking about this game, like uh, Circus Convoy. Uh, this came out, uh, you know, a, f a few years now, I guess we're going on. Um, and it was uh, a brand new Atari 2600 game that got released in, in the year 2020. I think it was 20. Is it 20? Now that I'm looking at it, so yeah, 2020. So we got a brand new, never before seen game, manufactured, new cartridge, new box, uh, new company, Audacity Games made this, um, made up of the former people from Activision, that is, uh, who made the original um, Activision cartridges for the Atari 2600. So these are the types of things that I would rather see today being recreated um, like, well, not recreated, being created, not just things being recreated, even the homebrew scene, um, like this one here, this is my, uh, fast food game, uh, that I programmed for the Intellivision, and, you know, this is something that's never existed on the system before, it's, it's a brand new, old game, so, it, ex the game existed on the Atari 2600, it never existed on the Intellivision, so this is the type of stuff that I like to see get, get released, Unfortunately, with a lot of these things, though, I mean, with this uh, being an exception, because they were a little bit bigger of a production run, a lot of these things end up being very small, limited run uh, video games that, unfortunately, uh, a lot of people, when they find out they exist, it's already too late, they've already sold out, and they either have to wait and hope that they get another re-release, um, or they... Um, they buy it on the secondhand market for a lot more than what it originally sold at. And, and that's kind of sad because, you know, when I see things like, especially that Atari collection, I think, you know, that might be something cool if, if it was something I could buy at Walmart for 50 bucks, you know, even then it's stretching and, and just say, Oh, that's kind of cool. I can buy these new physical cartridges, go home and play it on my Atari, or I could just play my original cartridges. Um, and of course, the other thing that that also came to mind is that literally they're they're expecting you to always have the old hardware. So, what about a new Atari system that that can actually play these? Now I know there's a Retron seventy seven. I know that exists. Um, I've never physically seen one myself. I've been in a few computer gaming stores. I've never seen one. I don't know where they are, but I've seen people have them. Um, but from what I understand, that's a little bit different. It's it's not exactly reading the cartridge from what I understand, or it's it's dumping the ROM, or it's it's doing something a little bit different. Um, and it's not it's not the same. It's not the same original hardware type of idea. Now, of course, this is kind of going all over the place. This video, but I was just thinking about all these you know these reproduction recreations, and um, you know what what exactly is the point of them? Is it to tickle that nostalgia bone, uh, to make you feel like, you know, I'm living in the, uh, the 1980s again, or are they just making these things just for the collector, the super rich collector to buy and put on a shelf and, and just stare at it and say, I, I'm glad I have that now. Um, which doesn't do the, the, the video gaming world, the retro gaming world, any favors. It really doesn't. It just puts something on a shelf and then jacks the price up when the limited quantities are gone and someone, for some reason, really wants one. But, um, I mean, if it's if they're $1,000 right off the, like, brand new out of the store, can you imagine what people are going to want for these things five, ten years later if people even remember they existed? Because I'm sure they'll just end up there <laughs> on the shelf doing nothing in someone's man cave until that person croaks and then it ends up in a yard sale. 
anyways, yeah, there's just a whole bunch of ideas thrown around. I just wanted to throw it out there. Um, I mean, my take on it is I'm not interested in that, that new Atari thing that uh, I, I'm interested in, in this. I'm interested in the new stuff, the new old stuff, old, new, new, old, however we want to phrase it. That's what I'm interested in. Anyways, let me know what you think. Throw some comments down below. I always like to hear what you have to say. Hope you subscribe and we'll talk to you later.